Ich möchte Rebecca, äh, ich habe Prepot an der Hand. Being from Harris, growing up here, Harris Street has always just been part of, of life. It's part of, part of the identity, I suppose, of being from Harris. Harris Street became known as Harris Street because of Lady Dunmore. She realised kind of the, how good it was. She marketed it and everything. And because she was in Harris and it was Tweed from Harris, it became Harris Street. There's now an Act of Parliament that governs how Harris Street is made and where Harris Street is made. So everything from dyeing to weaving to finishing has to be done in the Outer Hebrides. It's kept that here in the islands. There's not a huge amount of jobs and you know, ways of making a living here. So it's, it's kept it here, it's protected it, and, and everyone's really proud of it. Whether you're a weaver or not, or even if you're involved in the industry or not, you know, if, if you're from the islands, you know about it. And it, yeah, it's just, it's part of our heritage. I started out properly on my own at the end of 2012. I started in 2013, and I've been weaving ever since. It was a friend of mine who had learned how to weave on the double width looms, and I was like, that would be pretty cool. But I had no interest in the new double width. I wanted to do the old single with the same thing my granny used to weave. It's the kind of thing that you can't really do unless you enjoy it. If you're an independent weaver, right from the start, that tweed is, is yours. It's your ideas, your colours or patterns or designs. And, and it is, it's very much my tweed. I spend the time weaving it. It's a very tactile thing to be weaving. You're constantly touching the tweed as you're weaving to see, make sure there's no imperfections in it. I've done tweeds based on the colours I see on the hill. So there's one I do, it's got grey and purple and cream in it. You've got the purple of the heather and the, the cream of the sheep and the grey of the rocks. I like the ones that are, that are very much reflective of the landscape around us.